Looking first at low flow devices, let's look at the various device options that are available. Nasal cannulae are one of the most common ways of delivering oxygen therapy. A nasal cannula consists of two soft prongs attached to the oxygen supply tubing. The prongs are inserted into the patient's nostrils. The tubing is looped over the patient's ears and the toggle is adjusted to ensure a good fit. Oxygen flows from the cannula into the patient's nasopharynx, which acts as an anatomic reservoir. Oxygen can be administered at 6 litres per minute or less. Flow rates of 4 litres per minute or less do not need to be humidified. Can be used at very low flow rates with children. Lightweight and generally comfortable. Patients are able to eat, drink and speak. Mouth breathers can benefit from this device. Needs upper airway to be free of obstruction. Are available with different prong shapes. The concentration of oxygen received by the patient will vary as previously mentioned. However, oxygen flows of 1 to 6 litres per minute will deliver up to 44% of oxygen to most adult patients. There are various sizes available for adults, paediatrics and neonates, and a variety of prong shapes are also available to suit varying circumstances. Straight prongs are the original design and these are still the most frequently used in hospitals. Curved prongs are designed to direct the flow of oxygen posteriorly rather than upward towards the frontal sinuses. Flared prongs have an increased diameter towards the tip. This has the effect of slowing down the gas as it enters the nose, making it more comfortable for the patient. Curved and flared prongs combine the best features of the two options releasing oxygen more slowly and away from the frontal sinuses. Caution. Nasal cannulae are contraindicated in patients with nasal obstruction, for example nasal polyps.